free college football picks week nine part five i'm tony here with our college football pick show here for friday action well we're gonna get into part five we have nine games we have the friday games with some more saturday here and that'll get us within uh what uh with the 47 games that'll get us to uh, 50, uh 40 uh 38 when we finish with this we'll have nine more for you to, for tomorrow uh, we'll get you our, our nine here for today before we get to just a couple things be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel Free college football picks updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports. We also have NFL, NBA. We also have uh, NHL, European football, and more. It's a good time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel, give us that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit Tony'sPicks.com, our multi-capper site showcasing top cappers in our industry. Click the link to the the hot cappers. Get signed up to a long-term pass. Guys like uh, Ramon, who's been hot. Ben has been hot. Hollywood Sam. Uh, we also have... Nick and Paula Garotas. Click the links, get signed up. Also, Tiffany. If you scroll, you'll find the um, latest premium picks in the center of the page. Our best bets are up as well. We've got our $15 premium pick. It's a promotional pick. We ca each capper can submit one of their premium plays from the card, make it a $15 premium pick. Somebody want to make a good impression here with best bets at 15. Three packs as well. And of course, if you're looking for the picks a la carte, you can shop here. Uh, on our pick ticker in each individual play there for you as well and even more promo code tony t saves you 20 percent off all premium pick packages access our page by clicking the link in the description click the all cappers tab and get signed up also love to hear from you guys so post your picks in the comments below and you can apply as a capper uh, over at tonyspicks.com footer section and again our podcast in every picks and podcast form so if you can't hear the video watch the video you're driving you're, you're walking, your dog, or the gym. Every pick is in podcast form. Tony Picks, Picks Podcast available on all major platforms. All right, let's get this one started. Louisiana Tech versus FIU College Football Pick. This one is on Friday. All right, we got Louisiana Tech. They fall to two and five after that 42 to 41 home overtime defeat to Rice. Bulldogs gain 373 yards of offense in the loss, 144 of it rushing on 39 carries. They did surrender four sacks, had a plus two turnover margin. Defensively, the Bulldogs gave up nearly six yards of carry on the ground with 208 yards passing on 27 attempts. Parker McNeil will be a game time decision after leaving the game against Rice with an injury. On the year, he is completing 60% of his passes, 15 touchdowns, seven picks, nine yards per attempt. The backup is Downing. He came in and was injured. Now, Downing may miss the remainder of the season, so third string Landry Liddy, a freshman, he went three of six for 38 yards, two touchdowns, 6.3 yards per attempt. FIU moved to three and four. A 34 to 15 road win at Charlotte. Team posted 453 yards with 147 rushing on 43 carries. Defensively, the Golden Panthers held the 49ers run game to just over two yards per attempt with 277 passing yards on 43 attempts. Gunnar Holmberg expected to play after missing all but one game this year. Luke transfer in 2021 completed 67% of his passes, seven touchdowns, nine picks, and 7.3 yards per attempt. That was a season ago. Louisiana Tech defense in the past three uh, conference games, alarming here, giving up 534 yards, 7.3 yards per attempt. You know, FIU gets their quarterback back, and Louisiana Tech could be utilizing a third-string freshman play. Here will be FIU at plus six and a half. East Carolina and BYU college football pick. This one goes off here on Friday. East Carolina sits at five and three after their 34 to 13 home win to UCF. Pirates posted 458 yards with 147 on the ground on 33 carries. Defensively, they held the Knights' run game to just over four yards per attempt and 296 passing yards on 37 attempts. ECU had four sacks and plus four turnover margin. Holton Aylers in AAC high 83% completions. 311 yards, 8.6 yards per attempt in the win. Aylers against the AAC is completing 72% of his passes, 11 touchdowns, 3 interceptions, 8.3 yards per attempt. BYU moves at 4-4, four four, a 41-14 road defeat at Liberty. Three straight losses by the Cougars. The team posted season low 258 yards, 71 on the ground on 16 attempt, uh, uh, rushing attempts. Uh, defense, BYU allowed 547 yards to the Flames, 300 at rushing on 48 attempts. They also gave up 247 passing yards on 29 attempts. Jaron Hall, season lows here, 47% completions, 187 yards, 5.5 yards per attempt on the season. Hall, 
65% completion rate. He's got 19 touchdowns, three picks, eight yards per attempt. Now on the road, the Pirates, 376 passing yards. They're averaging at BYU, 314 passing yards at home. Past three games, uh, BYU averaging 562 yards. And ECU here, 351 yards passing, 9.7 yards per per pass attempt. The play here will be East Carolina and BYU over 63 and a half. Missouri versus South Carolina College football pick. This one goes off here on Saturday. Missouri improved to 3 and 4 after their 17 to 14 home win to Vanderbilt. Tigers gained 308 yards with 97 rushing on 40, 40 attempts in the win. They limited the Commodores on the ground with two yards per rush and surrendered 242 passing yards on 45 attempts. Brady Cook, 68% completions in the win, 211 yards, 8.4 yards per attempt on the season, a completion rate of 65%, six touchdowns, seven picks, 7.3 yards per attempt. South Carolina improved to 5-2, and two, a 30-24 home win at Texas A&M. Gamecocks win despite season low here. 380, 286 yards, 118 rushing on 35 carries. South Carolina limited the Aggies on the ground and allowed 269 passing yards on 47 attempts. Spencer Rattler, season low here, 48% completions, 6.7 yards per attempt. Tigers' point production is the issue here. Uh, recent quality wins by the Gamecocks at Texas A&M and on the road to Kentucky, player will be South Carolina at minus 3.5. Colorado State and Boise State college football pick. This one goes off on Saturday. Colorado State improved to 2 and 5 after their 17 to 13 home win to Hawaii. Rams a season high 386 yards, 209 rushing on 40 carries. On defense, CSU limited the Warriors' ground attack to under 4 yards per rush and 173 passing yards on 30 attempts. Clay Millen completed 71% in the win, 7.4 yards per attempt. Season 8, the freshman 73% completions, 7.3 yards per attempt. Boise State improves to 5-2 after their 19-14 road win at Air Force. Broncos gained only 322 yards in victory, 115 of them rushing on 40 carries. Defensively, they limited the Air Force ground attack to 3.5 yards a carry and 96 passing yards on 9 attempts. Taylor Green, 67% completions, season high, 8.6 yards per attempt, but one pick. Now, Green is a running style quarterback on the season. Uh, Green, 62% completions, 2 touchdowns, 4 picks, 6.7 yards per attempt. Respect the defensive performance by Colorado State in their four-point home loss to Utah State. The play here will be Colorado State at plus 27 and a half. Coastal Carolina and Marshall college football pick Saturday. Coastal Carolina fell at six and one after their 20, 49 to 49-21 home defeat to Old Dominion. Chanticleers produced 454 yards, but 88 on the ground on 42 attempts. Defensively, Coastal Carolina gave up. 525 yards with 324 rushing on 31 carries. Now, Grayson McCall, season high, 76% completion rate, 358 yards, three touchdowns, 10.5 yards per attempt. On the season, McCall, a 70% completion rate, 18 touchdowns a pick, 10 yards per attempt. Now, Marshall, 4 and 3, they get a 26 to 12 road win at James Madison. Thurman Heard, 326 yards of offense with four yards per rush. They limited the Dukes' ground game, allowed only 164 y- yards passing on 35 attempts. Freshman Cam Launcher completed 48%, a touchdown, two picks, 5.1 yards per attempt. Now, Columbia was scratched after warm-ups with an injury last week. Season date, the Texas Tech transfer, 73% completion rate, 7.4 yards per attempt. <clears throat> Marshall quarterback situation concerning Tech Chanticleers McCall, another great season play here, Coastal Carolina, plus 2.5. UAB and FAU college football pick. This one is on Saturday. UAB falls a 4-3 after 20-17 road defeat at Western Kentucky. Blazers a season low 324 yards, 228 rushing on 39 carries. Defensively, they limited Western Kentucky's passing attack but allowed nearly 6 yards a carry on the ground. Quarterback DeAndre Hopkins exited the game last week with a concussion. Jacob Zeno in relief completed only 30%, 3.3 yards per attempt. In mop-up action last season, the Baylor transfer a 41% completion rate, 4.4 yards per attempt. FAU 3-5 after their 24-21 road defeat at UTEP. Owls gained 329 yards with 165 rushing on 38 carries. Defensively, they allowed UTEP to run for nearly 6 yards a carry, 179 passing yards on 26 attempts. 
Nikozi Perry, 60% completion in defeat, 164 yards passing, 8.2 yards per attempt on the year. Perry, 56% completions, 17 touchdowns, 5 picks, 7.2 yards per attempt. UAB quarterback situation is a concern. Blazers have defended well on the season. Play here will be UAB and FAU under 46 and a half. USC and Arizona, college football pick. This one goes off on Saturday. USC hits their bye week at 6-1 after their 43-42 road defeat at Utah. Trojans a season high, 556 yards, 175 rushing on 27 carries. Defensively, they allowed only 4 yards a carry on the ground and 424 yards passing on 45 attempts. Caleb Williams, 59% completions, 5 touchdowns, 9.1 yards per attempt. On the season, Williams, 64% completion rate, 19 touchdowns a pick, 8.6 yards per attempt. Arizona, they fell to 3-4, a 49-39 road defeat at Washington. Wildcats posted 526 yards offensively, 126 rushing on 33 carries. Arizona limited the Huskies' ground attack but allowed 516 passing yards on 44 attempts. Jane DeLara, a season high here, 73% completions, 4 touchdowns, 11.8 yards per attempt. In Pac-12 play, DeLara... 65% completions, 13 touchdowns, 3 picks, 9.1 yards per attempt. You know, Arizona against the Pac-12 are allowing 532 yards and 42 points a game, while they're gaining 523 yards and scoring 34. Last year, these teams combined for 75 points, and each offense improved this season. Play here, USC and Arizona over 76 and a half. Kentucky versus Tennessee, college football pick Saturday. Kentucky improved to 5 and 2 after a 27 to a 14 home win to, to Mississippi State. Uh, Wildcats gained 478 yards, 239 rushing on 48 carries. On defense, Kentucky stuffed the Bulldogs ground attack and limited Mississippi State to just 203 passing yards on 37 attempts. Will Levis, 74% completions in the win, two touchdowns, 9.2 yards per attempt. This season, Levis, uh, career highs here, 69.5% completion rate, 10 yards per attempt. Now, Tennessee, 7 0. After a 65-24 home win to FCS Tennessee Martin, they produced 696 yards on the win. But that came after their 52-49 home win to Alabama. Hannon Hooker in the Alabama game completed 70% of his passes, 385 yards, 12.8 yards per attempt. Hooker had five touchdowns and one pick. Season to date, Virginia Tech transfer, career highs, over 70% completion rate, 10.8 yards per attempt. Hooker has thrown 18 touchdowns, one pick. Wildcats defense has traveled only teams are just 339 yards, 45% completions, 5.6 yards per attempt. Levis in good form. Play here at Kentucky at plus 12. Arizona State versus Colorado. College football pick Saturday. ASU moved to 2-5 after their 15-14 road defeat at Stanford. Uh, Sun Devils gained 355 yards in that one, 128 rushing on 34 carries. Defensively, they limited the Cardinals to 3 yards per rush and allowed 320 passing yards on 58 attempts. For a transfer, Emory Jones, 56% completion rate uh, with 9.1 yards per attempt. Pac-12 in, in Pac-12 play here, Jones, 64% completions, 3 touchdowns, 4 picks, 7.7 yards per attempt. Colorado, 1-6 after that 42-9 road defeat at Oregon State. Buffalo's gain at 290 yards in that one, 84 rushing on 28 attempts. Defensively, Colorado is given up over 6 yards per carry, 202 yards passing on 22 attempts. Starting quarterback Owen McCown has been limited in practice and a game time decision. Their top two running backs out. Backup JT Shroud completed 45% with two picks and 7.1 yards per attempt in his time there this season. The play here, uh, this season, by the way, Shroud, 45% completions, 5.3 yards per attempt. Buffs have allowed 41 or greater points in 5 of 6. Sun Devils on the road uh, giving up 449 yards or 312 yards passing on 7 yards per attempt. Play here will be Arizona State and Colorado over 46 and a half. All right, that was our college football pick show here for Friday. We got you the two Friday games with 7 there from uh, Saturday. So the totals here at, uh, at uh, 9 for today. Tomorrow's uh, Card will uh, we'll give you nine picks, the remainder of the card here of College Football Week 9. So we got through most of them now. So make sure you check us out here and like and subscribe and set notifications. Visit TonySpeaks.com here for our best bets over there. And, of course, our podcast here, Tony's Picks, every pick in, in, in podcast format. So check us out. 
Tony Swift Podcast. Give us those five star ratings. We greatly appreciate it. All right, that's going to do it. More picks later this afternoon on Game Day Picks.